All right, we got mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, mountain climbers, let's go. Let's get started. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take these first 30 seconds and kind of feel your way through the exercise. Put yourself in a position for the next 30 seconds where you'll feel more certain about how your body feels this morning. Um, we're here for another 10 seconds or so. We're gonna go down to our forearms for a plank. We're gonna hold in a plank in five, four, no need to rush. We're just getting started. Three, two, go down to your forearms, elbows under your shoulders. Push your heels back, tuck your hips, lock your plank in for 30 seconds. So we're gonna move pretty steady um, for our 30 minutes today. And I'm gonna do my best to kind of integrate into our workout some recovery stuff, some abdominal stuff. Um, but for those of you that are training with us this morning, you guys know how we train. I want your thin tummy on the entire time, hips tucked the entire time. You should be in these strong, super healthy positions, nonstop. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Megan. Jennifer, Tia. Clarice and Obi, what up? Jessica, good morning. Janelle, good morning. We're gonna sit back on our heels and open up our lats. So go ahead and put your knee down softly, flatten your feet out. Sit back on your heels and open up the muscles under your armpits. Just really sink down to that position. You can walk to the left and to the right to change the stretch. You'll feel it slide down the side of your body as you move back. You can push back your leg and really sit back into that flex position. Walk your arms back around. And all this is kind of happening as you're kind of hanging out, filling out where your upper body is at, because that's where we're going to start for this first sequence. We're going to go Cobra push-ups to face plants, one of my favorite combinations right now, to train back. So we're going to lie forward. Your hands are going to be next to your armpits. Your feet are going to be flat on the ground. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see a little bit. You're going to feel this in your triceps. You're going to tuck your hips so your back is not extended. You're going to tuck your hips, tuck your chin. You're going to press yourself up. Everything from your knees to your shoulders should move at the same time. You'll come back down. You'll drop your elbows down and push back on your heels. This is why we needed to stretch. This is why you're stretching your lats right now, this position here. Now from there, you're going to grab the ground and pull yourself over with semi-straight arms. Tuck your hips about halfway through. Go down. Cobra push-up. Down. Push back. Pull yourself over. The first movement coming back, my elbows are coming down. Continue to stretch through your lats, OK? So we got Cobra push-ups to face plants. Just like that. Cobra push-ups to face plants in five, four, three, two, let's go. You're gonna feel this in your triceps because your arms, your elbows are gonna stay close to the side of your body. Okay? Then you're gonna feel this under your armpits because when you pull yourself over, you're gonna pull through your your shoulders are really the only joint that's moving. Last, yesterday maybe, we did a circuit of 200 reps using this exercise and a couple other. We're gonna do a small version of that circuit and then we're gonna move on. So in 10 seconds, we're going to kneeling push-ups. So on your knees, you'll tuck your hips, your wrist will be on your shoulders, and you're going to kneeling push-ups in five, four, three, two, kneeling push-ups, let's go. Just from your knees, let's work. Our next exercise, just so you know, are gonna be full push-ups from your toes. So just walking progressively into a full push-up. Let's work. With your full push-up, your forearm should remain vertical. So if your hands are close to your body, then your elbows are gonna go back. If your hands are wider, then that gives you more room to open up through your elbows. But no matter what you choose, your forearm should be up and down, okay? In 10 seconds, at least for your first rep, your goal is to come up into a, a full push-up position and we're gonna work full push-ups 
Now, if you need to, just make yours a negative. Go down as slow as you can. Don't worry about coming up. Put your knees down and then come up. Go back up. Come down as slow as you can. Or stand to push-ups. We got push-ups from our toes in five, and I want everyone to try. Four, three, two, push-ups, let's go. Standard push-ups. And we are magically, in about 30 seconds, gonna be at the top of our circuit. We're here for 15 more seconds. We got standard push-ups for 10, nine, now the great challenge in front of you next is to go from these push-ups straight into mountain climbers. And five, start the mountain climbers. Four, three, two, mountain climbers, let's go. Now when you go into the mountain climbers, <clears throat> excuse me, now that you're fatigued, do not lose your lower abdominals. Don't take your abdominals out of the exercise. Squeeze your six pack, pull in your thin tummy, we got mountain climbers for five. You'll get your first active rest because we're going down to a forearm plank in three, two, down to your forearms, elbows beneath your shoulders, one knee down, one leg back up, push your heels away so you feel your calves stretch, tuck your hips, pull in the muscles below your belly button, flex your six pack. This should be a tight position. Now your cardiovascular gets a chance to relax, but your muscles do not take a break. Tuck your hips. If you want, flex your quads. Flex your glutes. Now you should be locked in from your shoulders to your heels. Press your shoulders to the ceiling. We're going to sit back on our heels. In five, we're going cobra and face plants. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Cobras and face plants. Sit back on your heels. Pull yourself over. Press. You'll feel that in your triceps. Come back down. At the end of this circuit, at the end of this exercise, we're going to come up into a bulldog plank. Let's see your knees, a tabletop plank. Your knees under your hips, your wrists under your shoulders. And we're just going to come up just like this and hold. You can also do this from your knuckles. Just in this perfect position, we're just going to hold just like that. We're going to a tabletop plank in five, four, three, two, and one, bring your knees up, bring your knees close to the ground, but they're under your hips, your wrists are under your hips, and we're holding. Press your shoulders to the ceiling, squeeze your abdominals, don't arch your back, <clears throat> don't flex your back, perfect position, and just hold. In about 15 to 20 seconds, and again, your knees are just off the ground, but your knees are under your hips. In about 10 seconds, all I'm asking you to do is just sweep a leg through and sit back, and we're going glute bridges, okay? So we're going to sweep a leg through in five. We're going to sit back, four, three, two. Just bring this leg through, sit back, and we got glute bridges in three, two legs, two, one. Pull your abdominals thin, glute bridges go. Now focus on your abdominals. We're gonna make a transition now from upper body to core. And then from core, we'll hit lower body for the remaining part of our workout. So right now I want you to focus on the muscles below your belly button as thin as you can. Nothing should move in your low back for each rep of your glute bridge. We're just working here for 10, nine, eight, pull thinner, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come down, bring your knees up, pull your abdominals thin, heel touches, let's go. Flex, then squeeze yourself up, flex, and lower yourself down, flex yourself down. Squeeze yourself up, flex yourself down. Let's go. Now from here, we're going grappler sit-ups. Hands will come to the inside towards each ankle. Let's work. Reaching with the opposite hand towards the other ankle. We 
We're here for 10 seconds. After this exercise, hold your abdominals thin, as thin as you can. You'll feel a cramp below your belly button, and we're gonna drop down one leg at a time, and then we'll bring it back up. The exercise comes from you pulling your thin tummy in, and up, nothing should move in your back. The question becomes, the challenge in front of you is can you lower one leg at a time without your back moving? Let's go. Knees above your hips, drop one leg down, straighten it out, and bring the other one up. Feel for your low back right now. Squeeze tighter. Don't allow anything to move in your low back and then you'll feel it in your abdominal. From this exercise, we're going sprinter sit-ups. Both legs will come down, and then we'll alternate one leg at a time coming up. Just like that. We got sprinter sit-ups in five. Try to get the first rep. Four, three, two, sprinter sit-ups. Let's go. First rep. Now, once you start the exercise, now you take a break whenever you want to. You see, but I challenge you to begin the exercise and give yourself a chance to do something you didn't expect you could do. And then once you genuinely know how it feels and how your body's responding, then you make a decision physically, consciously, intensely about how, like, when do you really need a break? But for everyone on this call, you have to give yourself credit for the progress that you're making. And that's a huge deal. And a lot of times it feels like we can't keep going because we're used to taking breaks at a certain point. But your hard work is paying off. And now prove it to yourself. And sometimes when I count down, start the first rep and then see what you can do. After this exercise, in 10 seconds, we're going single leg glute bridges. Okay, but the first 30 seconds of this exercise is gonna be a hold. And we're gonna train one leg at a time. So one leg will be up, and we're simply gonna hold for 30 seconds. Okay? So we're going single leg glute bridges, and if you know which leg is weaker than the other, I want you to start on the weak side first. We're going single leg glute bridges in 10, nine, you guys are amazing, eight, Seven, six, five, single leg glute bridges in four, three, two, one, up and hold. And let's hold for 30 seconds. Now this isometric position, this hold, should be a combination of two major muscles. Gluteals, which is French for glutes, which is French for butt, and lower abdominals, which I'm sure you guys at this point are exhausted with me telling you that, right? But abdominals are on, glutes are on, you're gonna feel this in your hamstrings, and your quads are gonna be tight. Just flex your glute, squeeze your thin tummy. Now, in five seconds, we're gonna to go top half reps only. Just top half, in three, two, one, go down halfway, keep your abdominals on and come up. Go down halfway and come up. Halfway and come up, let's work. Just the top half. In about 10 seconds, we're going full reps. You're gonna be feeling this soon, Obi. Top half only. Yes, sir, top half only. And we're going full reps down to the ground and back up. Touch your butt to the ground respectfully, not your bone and come all the way up. So we're going full reps in five, Four, three, two, full reps, go. All the way down, all the way up. Now, when we work the full rep, Patricia, your hamstring is on fire. Yes, sir, I see it. Good job, Patricia, that's awesome. Um, I forgot my trade thought, but that's okay. Next, we're gonna go bottom half only, bottom half only. Oh, I remember what it is now. As you start to get fatigued, which is why we do the bottom half last, you start to limit your range. So if you need to limit your range, do so now. 
In 10 seconds, we're going from the bottom of the, from the ground up halfway. But listen, your abdominals have to stay on. Otherwise, it's gonna be just all low back, okay? So we're going bottom half only in five, four, three, two. Go down to the ground and come up halfway. Just work the bottom half, let's go. And if you want, if you can't feel it in your glutes for the bottom half, then just come up as slow as you can and then go back down. Tempo helps engagement if the tempo keeps you from engaging. That sounds like double talk, but that's really how it works. You can slow it down so you can feel it until you can speed up and still feel it, right? We got bottom half for 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, let's work. Four, great job everybody, three, Almost done, two, one, go up to the top of that glue bridge, and we're coming down slow, 30 second negative. We're only doing one set, then we're gonna hit the other side. Come down as slow as you can. In about five or six seconds, you should be halfway down. We're at 15 seconds, 12, 11, 10. Now here's what's in front of you. I'm counting down. When we get to one, I want 10 reps as fast as you can. That's all. 10 glute bridges as fast as you can. And three, this is where we finish. Two, one, 10 reps, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch legs. <laughs> Megan, let's go. <laughs> Switch legs, and we're up and we hold. <laughs> Yes, sir, that was it. 30 seconds, up and hold, other leg. Just hold at the top. Now, we do the weak leg first, right? Because that's the one where you're able to concentrate more. Now that the training effect has started to sink in, it's harder to lock in. Um, but I want you to hold now. Keep your abdominals thin and flex your glutes. That's all you gotta do. Don't worry about your quad, don't worry about your hamstrings. I need your abdominals on and your glutes should be driving your hips so that they're flat, right? Like your, your knee, your hip, and your shoulder should all be in a straight line. We're going top half only glute bridges in three, two, one, top half only. Let's work. Now I want you to do a rep, even though you know how it's going to feel in about two minutes. I want you to concentrate right now, even though you know exactly what's about to happen. This is now at this point, it's meant it's a mental thing because you've already proven that the exercise, the workout is not too much. You might have needed to take a break. Your muscles might have been screaming and hollering. That's all, you know, a tribute to a reasonable program from an unreasonable coach, right, Tia? But the point is now you know what's about to happen. We're going full reps in four, three, Two, all the way down, all the way up. No one should be like pulsing up and down. It's a squeeze up and down. Make the muscle do the work. Don't use momentum, use muscle. Flex up and squeeze down. Squeeze up and flex down. You should feel it in every single part of the rep. Two people can be doing this exact same workout and get two different results. Squeeze it, flex, pull yourself down, press yourself up. We're going bottom half in three, two, bottom half only, abdominals still on, let's go. This is too much for the muscle and I've written it that way and I'm asking you to do it that way on purpose because this is what's gonna make the muscle change. Do one of those reps right now that feels like you, like you can't do it. Do one of those. You guys are amazing. Bottom half only, abdominal spin. We're going up and we're coming down slow in five, four, three, two, all the way up. Somebody stay with me. Come down as slow as you can. Come down slower. Slower than that. Abdominals on. Check your abdominals again. That's right, Jess. That's what I want to see, Jess. <laughs> that's 
That's what I want to see. Now get back in here, Jess. Come on. There we go. We got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven. And then we got 10 reps as fast as you can. Do not front. I'm not asking for technique, abdominals on, but I'm asking you to go as fast as you can in three, two, get ready. One, everybody go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand up. You guys, too much. Anything less than that, and I'm gonna start getting looks in the camera. I know, I know what time it is. Body weight position or squat position. We got body weight squats. Want to open your feet a little bit wider today. Now, when you open your feet a little bit wider, it puts a greater responsibility you holding your knee position. We got wide stand squats in three, two, one. Let's work. Pressing your knees to a position where they're as wide as they can comfortably be. And at the same time, working to keep your feet flat. Screw your feet into the ground is another way that some people put it. We got body weight squats. I'm screwing my feet into the ground. I'm keeping my feet flat. And then I'm working. Let's go. We're here for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, this is a break, right? Six, five, four, three, two, and time. Good job. Switch feet, whichever foot is your weak side, whichever leg is your weak side, let's go down to a split squat position. Now what I want you to do is I want you to tuck your hips. You'll feel a flex now coming up on your hamstring, or sorry, on your hamstring, on your quad. Now from there, you're gonna pull, or you're gonna squeeze your glutes, I cannot think. You're gonna pull your stomach in thin, you're gonna reach to the ceiling, pressing your palm to the ceiling, and your fingers are gonna come back over your head. Now from here, your opposite hand threads through, you're gonna rotate and lean a little bit. You should really feel a good flex in your quad at this point. Fantastic. Now from here, what I want you to do, keep your hips tucked, keep your glutes on, keep your abdominals thin, and just lean forward a little bit. Now from here, drive this, this knee, your rear knee, down into the ground. Push it into the ground, and then relax. Walk your foot forward and lean. Now from here, drive your knee into the ground again, as hard as you can. Come back, walk your foot forward, and lean. At this point, your shin should be about vertical. Put your hands up. Take a deep breath in. And sink and rotate. Opposite leg out. We're going to look for a hamstring flex now. Push your hips back. Keeping your torso organized. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your hands down. Walk your hands forward. Both hands on the outside. Cross your hands over your foot. Fantastic, let's switch sides. Tuck your hips, flex your glutes, pull in your abdominals thin. Reach your palm up, bring your fingers over your head, thread the opposite hand through, rotate and lean a little bit. Don't hold your breath. And only go as far as it feels good. Fantastic. Keep your hips tucked, keep your glutes on abdominals thin, and lean. Drive your knee into the ground, pushing your knee into the ground as hard as you can, comfortably, of course. Come out of it, walk your foot forward, lean a little bit more. Keep your hips tucked, keep your glutes on, keep your abdominals thin. Drive your knee into the ground. Three, two, one. Come out of it. Walk forward a little bit. Now lean. <sighs> Hands up and rotate towards your lead knee. <sighs> Excellent. Opposite leg out straight. Push your hips back. You should be feeling a flex in your hamstring. If you feel it behind your knee, unlock your knee. The, the more you bend your knee, it changes where the flex is at in your hamstring. Push your hips back. Deep breath in, come down to the ground and relax. 
Deep breath in. Exhale and move your hands forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands on the outside. Deep breath in. Exhale, cross your hands over. Fantastic. Let's stand back up. Body weight position. Ready. 10 squats. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. In seven seconds, I want you to go down to the bottom of your squat and hold. In four, three, two, bottom position and hold for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squats go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, down and hold. Seven, six, five, four, flex down there. Three, two, squats go. Six, five, four, three, two, down and hold. Five, four, three, Two, squats go, four, three, two, down and hold, three, two, squats go. Now let's work, now let's work. Now at this point, what we've done, if we set your squat position, at this point, the bottom of every squat should be the same. That's what the hold is for. At this point, you warmed up your knees and the pattern of your squat, every squat, one after the other, should be exactly the same. So as I'm going through the camera now, I should see one squat and the next, the first squat and the next squat, um, identical. That's your goal. That's all your goal is, your knee position, where you're pressing down in your feet. You should be pressing up with the same muscle to start. Good, Janelle. Good, Jennifer. We're here for another 60 seconds. Work at your own tempo. Let's go. This is where we finish our workout. 45 seconds, long 15 seconds. 40 seconds, one rep at a time is all that matters. Good, uh, Julie. That's it, Jennifer. Let's keep pushing. Let's finish the way we started. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Let's work. 10, 9, 8. You made a great job. 7. Keep your abdominals on. 6, 5. Let's finish. Four, three, two, and time. That is our strength training workout for today. Easy money. Easy money. Great job, everybody. And I mean that. I mean the great challenge for me as a as a coach for you guys is like how do I how do I keep us working at that level? Because you guys are improving. There's no doubt about it. Fantastic. Megan, how do you feel, Megan? Yeah, what? I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer? <laughs> That's what I got. I got I to go. You're wonderful, Megan. Have a great weekend. You guys, too. Take care. <laughs> See ya. Jennifer, how do you feel? <laughs> Fire. Mission accomplished then. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Kia. What? Back. Back. <sighs> Proud of you. Do that. Do that. 
<laughs> what up, Julie? Hey. I hope you're having a good morning. Yeah. yeah. Awesome to see you. Awesome to see you. <laughs> Janelle, you are back. I know. <laughs> Always. There's something that there's, there's something called consistency that's happening, Janelle. I don't know if you I don't know if you can feel it, but I can see it. I can't touch my legs. <laughs> there's something called consistency that is happening. I don't know if you can feel it, but I can see it, Janelle. Congratulations. Welcome back. Jess, I'm gonna need you to unmute your phone so I can hear. I'm unmuted. How are you doing? I was really good. Good, man. Thank you for saying so. I'm excited to train with you. I'm excited to train with you, sir. You're the best, yo. You're the best. Yeah, I'm um, I'll tell you one thing. Them 200 squats. I'm uh, sorry. Them 200 push-ups had me sore yesterday. Oh, man. I heard you told... And you told, you told Danny what's up. I sure did. I warned her. Why are you... <sighs> Jess, you're breaking the code, Jess. You're breaking the code. Look, I needed to prepare her. No, uh, there is no preparation, right, Obi? I don't want y'all to be ready. Huh? That's right. Don't go soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ain't no study guide to this yeah. joint, man. This is a pop quiz. I apologize. Quiz. <laughs> yeah. You either go survive or you don't survive. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just throw him in the pool. Yeah. Brand right. team. I think I think it was I think it was good for Danny because it, it wasn't it was a it was a culture shock. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. it was for me too. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. Paris, how was that workout? <laughs> My butt is on fire. <laughs> all right, all right. My gift to you this Saturday morning. <laughs> and, and and Ron, I I told her about your you know how. You know how you like to keep count, and sometimes yeah. your clock, sometimes your clock oh, yeah. off a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. like 30 seconds, but. Yeah, and then start talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. You hear that happening, don't you, Clarice? <laughs> and sometimes my five seconds is five, four, three, two. Sometimes it's five. Yeah. <laughs> four. <laughs> That's good business, though, man. That's yes, good. sir. Already. Already. <laughs> Let's get some cardio in. Let's get some cardio in, man. I'll see you later, Ron. Have a wonderful day, Jeff. You too. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. All right. Yes, sir. Oldest tricks in the book. All right, everybody, let's start our boxing workout. Make sure I got the camera up. Boom. All right, our first combination today is going to be one, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. Just like that. Let's get started on that note. Let's go. One, two, two, three. When you come back from that first two, bring your hips back. So we're here. It's one, two. Follow that punch back and then throw the two again. Use that two to bring your three out. One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. Oh, you know what would be awesome right there? Keep going and listen, please. We're going to put what's called a touch in the middle of this combination. A touch is when you use your arm to gauge distance or to defend or to hold distance or to brace someone from closing distance, right? So if someone is, is, is closing the distance on me, I'll reach my arm out, I'll drop my elbow, elbow's been a little bit, and I'll brace. So if you can imagine they were coming closer and I hit them with this and they can't come any closer, okay? It's called a touch, boom. Right there, it's, it's stiff, it's solid. So we're gonna go one, two. After that two, I want you to touch. It's not a jab. You're gonna stiffen this arm out and then go two, three. One, two, touch. Two, three. 
one, two, touch, two, three, one, two, touch. You're going to just put your arm out there and brace as if you're keeping somebody from getting closer. Okay? One, two, touch right there. Two, three. One, two, touch. Two, three. Let's go. Let's work. That's it. Just like that. Nice gloves, Julie. Let's work. One, two, touch. Two, three. Keep pushing. Keep moving. We're going to come off that three. One, two, touch. Two, three. Throw another three and come back with the four. One, two, touch. Two, three, three, four. One, two, touch. Two, three. Three, four. Got that? Add a three and a four on the end. Your four and your two should look a lot alike. Here's the finish of my two. Here's the finish of my four. Everything shoulders down is exactly the same. So we got one, two, touch, two, three, three, four. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Let's go. One, two, touch, two, three, three, four. Let's work. Smooth is better than fast. Abdominal is on no matter what. And continue to work. In 10 seconds, we're going uppercuts. In seven seconds, we're going uppercuts. In five, four, three, two, let's work. Right there, uppercuts. Remember, your uppercuts are diagonal punches. They can be absolutely vertical, but they're normally like little diagonal punches that stop at your nose. We're not scooping our uppercuts. It's a push and a push, push. Right there, let's go. Keep your abdominals on. All your punches should be coming from the ground. Don't forget that. Whatever your hands are doing, your feet should do it first. For every time that you throw an uppercut, your feet should lead that movement. And then if your abdominals are on, it'll turn your hips. And if your hips turn and your shoulders are relaxed, it'll move your hands. It's literally a full body workout, every rep of every punch of the entire workout. And we're going to straight punches, ones and twos in three, two, one. Ones and twos, let's go. We got straight punches, continue to run your straight punches. For another 10 seconds or so. Another eight seconds. Five, four, three, go back to uppercuts, two, one, let's go. Now this set of uppercuts should feel better than the last set. There should be something in terms of a rhythm that you had this time that you didn't have last time. There should be something in terms of like the muscle engagement. Your abdominals should be a little bit tighter this time than last time. There's something about doing, this, doing something twice that it gives you another chance to do it better. This is your chance right here. Our next combination is going to be four, five, four, three, two, one, two. Maybe my favorite combination right now. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two. Four, five, four, three. Let's make it two, one, two, one so we can link it, link it all together. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. Let's go. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. Let's make that two, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Let's go. I want you to speed that up now. Ready? Go. Speed it up. Five seconds. Speed up again. Let's go. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Take whatever rhythm you were using earlier and just double it. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. We're here for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Back into your boxing position. We're now going to train our obliques a little bit with our duck walk, okay? <clears throat> you're going to step down with your left foot, and you're going to waddle lateral to the side. It's not a slip. It's a lateral. You're literally going to move sideways, and that's where your obliques are going to come into play. So your left foot comes down. You step, you lateral to the side. Lateral to the right. Lateral to the left. Lateral to the right. That's how you duck walk. So all together, this is how Mike, Mike Tyson used to slip punches this way. It's boom, 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 boom. But it's not rotating. It's to the side. So yes, squeeze your thin tummy now. Hold it tight. And then go over it and you'll feel it. And then you come to the other side. Abdominal thinning, you'll feel it. So we're going to duck walk. At the end of your duck walk, I want you to drop your elbows down, drop your chin, and you're simply going to step back. Okay? And when you step back, turtle up, abdominal thin, squeeze yourself down. I'm taking the time to explain this because this will change the workout if you do this right. Squeeze yourself, lower your legs, keep yourself tight, and then come up. Okay? So duck walk, three, four, and step back. Your abdominals should be on the whole time. Ready? Let's go. Duck walk, two, three, four, and step back. One, two, three, four. Drive your elbows down. Squeeze yourself over. And then exaggerate that crunch by dropping your legs. One, two, three, four. Ugh. You should feel this in your abdominals like crazy. Let's go. And remember, they're lateral movements. And the lateral movement is coming from your core, okay? I'm not dropping with my hip. That didn't even feel right. I'm simply leaning to the side when I step. The step exaggerates the lean. My thin tummy is on, so it exaggerates the contraction. And then I lean to the right. And then I lean to the left. And I lean to the right. And every time I do it, I should feel my abdominals working. You see people doing the... The ab exercise like this, don't do that, first of all. But here's, that, here's a version of that. You get the same engagement, okay? Step and lean, boom, boom, and abdominals on the whole time. Then I'm gonna squeeze, drop my elbows, squeeze and step back and crunch and come up, let's go. At the end of your duck walk, boom, 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 boom. I want you to throw straight punches. Two, one, two, one, or one, two, one, two, it doesn't matter. From there, you're gonna sit back. You're gonna come up with uppercuts. One, two, three, four uppercuts. And then go again, duck walk, straight punches. Step back, throw your uppercuts. Let's go. Duck walk, straight punches. Step back and uppercuts. You should be feeling your abdominals in the duck walk. That's the point. That's the whole point. Okay, the back and forth, the leaning side to side is to make those muscles work. So only move as fast as you feel the contraction, which of course is always the rule. All right? We're here for another 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, Step back, run, uppercuts, go, uppercuts, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, jab, cross, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Next combination is two, three, two. Let's go. Two, three, two. Set. Two, three, two. Set. Two, three, two. Work that. Now I want you to pull back. Pull back. Step back. Lean back. Stretch your abdominals. Come back up. Two, three, two. Pull back. Two, three, two. Let's work. Open your feet up and step back. Keep working. Mm -hmm. 
Come on here. Now we're going to add to that. So we got pull back. Two, three, two. Now watch this. This is the front of my body. I'm going to pivot that way. And then two, three, two. Step back. Two, three, two. Pivot. Two, three, two. Step back. Two, three, two. Open pivot. Two, three, two. Step back. Two, three, two. Open pivot. Two, three, two. Let's go. That's it, Clarice. That's it. Good, Obi. Good. Let's work. And I want your feet to move when you step back. I want you to lean back, but I also want you to push back. Make this happen with your leg. Get your leg out of the way and then lean and then come back. Let's go. Fantastic. We're going to add to that an angle step, a side step, two, three, two. It's the same three punches every time. So we got two, three, two, lean back, two, three, two, pivot, two, three, two, angle step, side step, two, three, two, lean back, two, three, two, pivot, two, three, two, angle step. That means move at a diagonal. Guess what? Drop your elbows down, squeeze, side step, move, move lateral, two, three, two, pull back, two, three, two, pivot. Two, three, two. Angle step, side step. Two, three, two. There we go. Add an angle step and a side step to this combination now. Now we're moving around a little bit. Now we're moving around a little bit. Keep working, keep training. In 10 seconds, we're going uppercuts. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uppercuts. Let's go. Let's work. Ten seconds, we're going jab cross. Seven, five, four, three, jab cross, let's go. Fantastic. We got a great rhythm going. Our next combination is going to be two, one, one. You're going to throw the two. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, and then double jab. Ready? Let's go, two, one, one, let's work. There are four types of jab. There's a short jab, medium jab, long jab, and step jab. Short jab is the smallest step possible. Medium jab is a little, a short jab, a short step twice, right? It's twice, two short, two short steps. Let's try it again. We got a short, short jab, which is the smallest step possible. A medium jab, which is a short jab, right? Just a little bit longer. That's a good way to put it. Long jab is where you're actually pushing back and forth. And then step jab is when you step and you drop at the end. Use any of those two, that you, any of those four that you want. And we got two, one, one. But use something, either a short, medium, long, or step jab. We're going to add to the end of the one, one, a three. Two, one, one, three, two, one, one, three, two, one, one, three. Let's go. Let's put a three on the end. Got to work the lead side now. We got to work the lead side. Good, Clarice. Add a five on the end, Julie. Add a five on the end, everyone. Two, one, one, three, five, two, one, one, three, five. We got good cardio going now, nonstop moving. Let's keep working. You're doing what you came to do. Keep your abdominals on, keep your flow, keep your rhythm. 
and just continue to work. Fantastic. Nice, Obi. Good rhythm, Obi. That's good. That's it. Our next combination is going to be three, three, two, and five, four, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, three, three. Two, three, three, two, let's go. Awesome. Now we're going to pivot the other way. So the first pivot in the first sequence, we open pivot and we went two, three, two. This time we're going to close pivot and go three, three, two. So we got three, three, two. Close pivot, three, three, two, okay? Close pivot, just like that. You're gonna pivot every time. I'm missing something in my combination. I can't think of what I'm missing. Double, close pivot. We're gonna put an angle step, side step, angle step on the end so it's three three two close pivot three three two angle step side step angle step three three two close pivot three three two angle step side step angle step three three two so angle side angle three three two let's go Close pivot, three, three, two. Angle step, side step, angle step, three, three, two. Keep working. Three, three, two. Angle step, side step, angle step, three, three, two. Just like that. At the end of the angle step, side step, angle step, of course, we have three, three, two. Then we're going to put a triple on the end, which is three, 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 two. So here's the whole combination. Three, three, two, close pivot. Three, three, two, angle step, side step, angle step. Three, three, two, and then triple. Three, 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 two. Let's go. Add three, 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 two on the end. Now again, we're moving around a little bit. You should be pivoting, you should be stepping, you should be sliding, you should be lowering your legs with every step. You should be pulling your abdominals in every step. Sometimes the combinations are super simple to keep up with. So you really get a rhythm going, you get your heart rate up. Others, there's a lot of moving. Now we're really talking steady state. Focus on your abdominals and just focus on getting the combination through smooth. All right, and let the conditioning happen with the type of combination it is. We're gonna pick up the speed again, back with that original combination we had, or at least the second we had, which was four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Let's work that combination, let's go. Now you're smooth, now the tempo's picked up because of the nature of the combination. Now you can get more reps in. It should be left to right, left to right, nonstop. Bleed two combinations into each other, no pause. Great job. You guys are fantastic. We got jab cross going in three, two, one jab cross, let's go. Great job, Obi. Great job, Clarice. Let's go. Extend your arms a little bit longer, Clarice. Let's get some more shoulder work. So longer punches. Get your arm all the way out. There we go. Good job. Better and better. Now keep your abdominals on. We're going uppercuts in three, two, uppercuts. Let's go. Great job, you guys. Great job. Abdominals thin, legs moving. 
You should feel the weight moving from leg to leg. Oh, but you've done a great job, of course, because as long as you've been boxing, you know how much movement's actually necessary. But the key is, is that no matter how small the movement, the weight should be transparent, right? The weight is what causes the muscles to work. So you make the smallest movements possible, but make sure your weight is moving with it. Your abdominals are having to break. We're here for 10. Now we're going back to jab cross in three, two, jab cross, go. Let's finish now. I want you two to focus on your abdominals. That's what's key right now. That's the point of this last 30 seconds, last minute, is that your abdominals are as tight as possible. We can't do crunches. We can't train abdominals this fast when we're lying down. So right now, we can take advantage of high rate abdominal training. Squeeze your thin tummy in as tight as you can. Flex your six pack and now punch as fast as you can for 10 seconds, eight seconds. Six seconds, four, three, last 30 seconds to uppercuts, go, uppercuts, same rules, abdominal spin and pick up the tempo. Focus on your abdominals and let your feet, your hips, your shoulders, and your fist exaggerate the contraction on your abdominal. I'm gonna walk y'all through this last 10 seconds. Flex tighter for eight seconds. Pull your thin tummy in more for six seconds. Squeeze your six pack for four. Now pick up the tempo of your hands for three, two, one, and time. Listen, half of every workout.